Assalamualaikum. In this video, I will explain to you about the normal distribution on how to read the Z table. Alright, for example, in Maths 2, you will be given for the middle region. Middle region is this part. Sometimes also, it can give you in this tail part. But again, Maths 2, we use the middle part. This is how your table will look like. This is the region that they gave and the vertical part and the horizontal part says about the Z value. And the inside part tells you about the area under, under the shaded region or the probability for the normal distribution. Okay. Now, let's look at how you can find the probability if you are given the Z value. So, for this kind of question, first thing first is you need to sketch the curve or the shaded region. So, for example, you are given P probability Z between 0 to 4, 5. So, your shaded region will have your Z curve. This is 0. 0 0.5 is the positive. So, shaded region is this part. Z table started from 0. Oops. Started from 0 to certain positive values. The question 1 just now is PZ in between 0 to 0, 4, 5. So, your Z value here, the important part is the 0 0.45. Now, the vertical part will give you the first decimal place. Where 0 0.4, we find it from here. This is 0 0.4. And the second decimal, the second decimal place is 0 0.05. So 0 0.05, you look at the horizontal top part. Then the intersection from the two vertical and the horizontal. So you will get your answer as such. 0 0.1736. If the question asks you the negative part, first thing first, again, you sketch the graph. Z is from negative 0 0.45 until 0. So the shaded region is this part. This particular part, you must remember that the property for the standard normal or the normal distribution, the curve will have a symmetrical about the mean. So, if the question asks you on the negative part and you want to find in the table for the positive part, so change the negative part to the symmetrical positive part. If you have Z in between negative 0 0.45 until 0, so the symmetrical part is actually Z in between 0 to 0 0.45. Answer will be the same as the question before, 0 0.1736. Let's continue to this question. The question asks you to find the probability for Z greater than 0 0.45. So first, draw the curve. This is Z. And starting from 0, 0 0.45. The question 1, Z greater than. So your shaded region is this part. Okay, so now look at the table. Table show you the middle part is this, all right? Now, what the question asks is for the tail part. And this is middle. What you have to know is that if you combine the middle and the tail, basically, you get the Z is actually probability for Z greater than 0, where you know is it is equivalent to 0 0.5. Then, you can say that if you want the tail part, PZ greater than, oops, PZ greater than Z node, any certain Z per node, you don't know your value of Z, is actually equivalent to the whole thing PZ greater than 0, minus by your middle part is from probability for z in between 0 to a certain value of z. So, what you know here is 0 0.5 confirmed. And this 
Probability is where you can find in the whole center of the table. So if you look at back the question, so from the table, you know that this particular part is the middle region with the probability that you have answered before, which is 0 0.1736. So write it back. So your answer is basically is again PZ greater than 0 minus by PZ in between the region that you can find in the table. 0.45 knowing that greater than the 0 you will have the probability 0 0.5 minus by the one that you know in the table is 0 0.1736 so your final answer after minus out is 0 0.3264 that's how you want to find the probability for the tail part let's look at part 2 where the question asks you for probability z less than negative 0 0.45. Again, draw your curve. This is z, so 0. You want it to be negative 0 0.45. Then the question asks you for less than. So the shaded region is this part. Again, now because... You have the shaded region at the negative part. Find the symmetrical part on the positive. Since your negative part is less than 0 0.45, the symmetrical part basically is the 0 0.45 because the reflection, so this part. Now, it's actually the same as the first question just now. So, your answer is actually probability of Z less than negative 0 0.45 equivalent to pz greater than 0 0.45 and your answer would be the same 0 0.3264 part 3 asks you question of probability of z less than 0 0.45 now instead of negative they give you positive but less than so again sketch the curve so this is 0 for z then the positive 0 0.45 this is gonna be the shaded region because you want it to be the less than 0 0.45 all right now if you look at the curve it's actually a combination of two parts now the first part is the pz less than zero plus by the middle part just now which is this part pz in between 0 to 0 0.45 the probability of z less than 0 is known 0 0.5 and then you have to add up with the middle part that you find in the table 0 0.1736 Sum up the two, you're going to get 0 0.6736.